Hey everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Hello Monday. This week in the studio, I'm sharing this very bold and fun uh, graphic masculine vibe card. And I'm gonna start by inking up some stripes. This is a great background stamp by Impression Obsession, and I'm using Hero Arts Soft Granite Shadow Ink. I absolutely love this ink. Now I'm gonna actually impress the image onto the paper from this direction. I find if I've got something I have to be very, very precise with, like these stripes to get it dead on, this is the easiest way to do it. And then I'm gonna put some scratch paper over the top to keep my fingers clean. And it takes me a long time to do this, so I cut out a lot of that because <laughs> I was watching it and going, oh my gosh, get on with it, girl. And so I cut that out to spare you. <laughs> so now I'm gonna pull up my paper there with my tweezers. And there you can see, isn't that an awesome shade of gray? I just love it, it looks awesome with those stripes. I'm working with several sets of star dies because each of them has different sizes and different features to them. And I'll show those um, throughout the video. You'll see them appear again. But anyway, um, I'm going to offset that star. And then I realized I was just a hair off there and I'll need to remember to trim that off. But right now I want to kind of play around with some stars that I've die cut. And here I'm showing you some of the other um, stars that I've die cut and there's the great die. Isn't that neat? It's got some nested shapes in there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I took two of these uh, different star dies to um, create this particular effect and I'm just going to play around with the dies. I just wasn't sure how I wanted those to layer and sometimes you know it's kind of cool to nest them but then when I started doing that I was like yeah no I don't like it. I'm not feeling it. So <laughs> You'll see later on that I chose these other two stars. <laughs> I fly by the seat of my pants on these things. You know, I, I can draw a sketch and then it's like, yeah, this is not going according to plan. <laughs> so now I'm going to start adding some uh, foam mounting dots here because I want to pop this layer up for some added dimension. And as I was going through it, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that I'm just slightly off and I forgot to trim off that edge. So I'm just double checking and see how much, see there, I've got some overhang. So I'm actually gonna trim off on the other side and I'm gonna pull off that foam dot very carefully so that I can get over there and trim that down. And I wanted you to see, I trimmed off a larger piece than that, but then I had to come up back and trim off more. But I wanted you to see just how tiny a sliver of cardstock that guillotine trimmer can, can cut off, it's awesome. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the liner papers from the, the foam dots that are towards the center because I wanna kind of anchor those down, but I don't wanna cement the whole thing down. This will give me a little bit of wiggle room. And I've rotated my card upside down. This is a top folding vertical card, but I rotated it because it was easier for me to see down there along um, the fold line that I was lining up my layers properly. So now I can go back and everything's all nice and straight and I can go back and remove the liner papers from the rest of these uh, little foam dots there. And that takes a while, so you're not gonna watch me do it on all of them, but there we go, it's kind of tedious. But in the end, it's worth it because then you get that layer on there nice and straight. And then I'm gonna take this star and just use my two-way glue pen. I love this glue pen. I'm fine, I'm using it more and more and more for different things. It's just a great glue pen. And I had wax paper. I just grabbed a piece of wax paper because it was there because I wanted to not get glue all over my work surface. And pardon my antenna there. It's actually my hair. <laughs> I'm having a bad hair day. And I didn't realize till after I was done filming. Oh my gosh, I got antenna poking out there. So pardon me. <laughs> I'm also working with this really fun flare set by Terry Anderson for Technique Tuesday. And I just love the little circular icons in this set. And I'm going to stamp one of them. It says, dang, because I'm always like, I don't know how many times it's like, dang, that's awesome. Or dang, you did it. You know, I use that word all the time. So I thought it would be fun to make a card with that. It's just so cute. And I'm going to white emboss that with my favorite Hero Arts white embossing powder and then slip it through a one inch circle punch. I love that all of the images in that set can be centered within one of these punches. So it's awesome. You can make your own flare. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and 3D mount that. And I'm actually adding some foam dots there on the upper layer and then down in that recessed part where the star was die cut. And I'm going to add an extra foam dot in there because I want to have it all level all across. But I've got two different depths that I'm working with. See, So you can see there, in order to keep it level, I had to double up on the one that's down inside the larger star. 
And then I can go ahead and take my little flare button and mount that on there speedy quick. Sometimes it's easier to do it this way than to put the foam dots on the back of the piece that you're mounting, if that makes any sense. And then I'm just gonna take some Baker's twine and just wrap that around. I'm not even gonna be careful about lining it up or getting it perfect. I'm just gonna wrap it around really quick and get some uh, extra pattern and color there. And then we'll go ahead and I'm rotating the thing all around because I, I work upside down a lot. <laughs> This is card gymnastics. And then I'll use my uh, tweezers. These are my tweezer B. I love using them because the reverse action can clamp down on the center of my twine so that I can free my hands to tie my bow. So we'll get that cinched up nice and tight. And then another thing that I like to do, because yes, I'm a glutton for punishment, I like to knot the ends of my twine sometimes because sometimes it starts to fray and I don't, I don't know, I just like it and I think it's fun, so I do it sometimes. So certainly not a necessary step, just for fun. And then we'll get those trimmed off really quick. And I think that um, it would be fun to add just one more thing. And I have these enamel dots and I know the shop is out of them right now, but more are coming because there's new colors coming out. These are so awesome. I, I just have so much fun with these and I think they're awesome on masculine designs. And they're just fun. They're just fun little bubbles of color. And I'm just gonna pop some down there from a set that I had that had colors that match the papers and get those on there. And I like to use three graduating sizes. I don't know why, that's just my thing. You certainly don't have to, but it always looks good to me when I do that. And there you have it. You've got a really cute, happy, graphic, masculine card. Thanks for watching. <music>